In the first episode, we will look at storage. Streams supports three types of storage, ephemeral, persistent claim, and JBOT. Ephemeral storage is using the empty DIR volumes. If you don't know what empty DIRs volumes are, you can imagine them as a temporary directories which will not survive when a pod is deleted. That makes it suitable, for example, for some short-lived clusters, such as in some CI pipelines, but definitely not for production. Persistent claim storage is using persistent volume claims and storage classes to dynamically provision the persistent storage. That allows you to use all kind of persistent storage types, which makes it a very good choice for production. Finally, the JBOT storage allows you to use multiple volumes in a single Kafka broker, and that is the best option. Using multiple volumes in each broker can be useful because you can get bigger capacity or better performance. Even if you start with just a single volume on the beginning, the JBOT storage still gives you the option to add more disks in the future. So this should be your best choice for production. Here you can see an example Kafka custom resource with the JBOT configuration with a single volume. At any time you can come and add more volumes to this broker. The JBOT storage is supported only in Kafka, so in Zookeeper we use just the regular persistent claim storage. Kafka works best with block storage formatted for example with XFS or X4 file systems. Examples of block storage are for example Amazon EBS volumes, Google persistent disks or uh, local disks. Be careful about using file storage, things such as uh, NFS don't work well with Kafka and you should definitely avoid them. That's it for this episode. Don't forget to follow us on Twitter and subscribe to our YouTube channel to make sure you don't miss the next episodes or any of our other content. See you next time.